We're going to talk a little bit about flattery. Before we go talk about flattery and hypocrisy, we would like to inform everybody about the Achnasat Sefer Torah that we're going to have, Bezot Hashem, January 10th at 7 o'clock. Uh, everybody is welcome. Bring your friends, etc. We'll, we'll love to see everybody in the Simcha of our Achnasat Sefer Torah. It will be a milestone in the, in the history of the yeshiva, so it's, it's terrific. The Chida says in Sefer Kisei Rachamim, we're talking about the Chida, so we're doing the Chida. But we were talking about the Chida. Somebody was talking about the Chida. So the Chida says in Sefer Kisei Rachamim, based on the, on the statement in Masechet Avod, it says, Rabbeinu Natan said, Darash Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar. Rabbi Shimon, the son of Rabbi, of, of Rabbi Elazar says, Ehov et ha-mochichicha, who sena et ha-meshabbecha. Love the one who rebukes you, hate the one who flatters you. That advice that Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar said is, is, is a little bit uh, strange. After all, right, the love of the person, to love the person who gives you who gives you, uh, who rebukes you, okay, we understand, you know, you should appreciate him, you should love him, blah, 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 you know, it makes you to become a better person, and so on and so forth. However, the, 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 uh, the other part of the statement, when he says, hate the one who flatters you, who praises you, that's, uh, that's first of all, it, it might be isulmi de oraita, of so how is this possible? So a person can see that the one who praises him really gives him flattering, he flatters him and something that doesn't really he doesn't really deserve. We know really who we are. We really know who we are, unless we are like such con artists that we really, but that's already a level of like a, of like a lunacy, you know, it's like a, you have a, some, some issue with the, I don't know, borderline personality, like grandiose, you know, that you think you're like Benito Mussolini or Napoleon, something like that, you know. But we know who we are. We know who we are, we know what we are, we know what we, what we think. <laughs> oh, yes, we do know what we think. When well, somebody gives you a compliment, and you know the truth, do you know there's, there's nothing to compliment here? There's really nothing to compliment. And it says, so when a person comes to praise you and to flatter you, He's basically asking, when he's doing that, if, again, if the person who rebukes you wants to reveal to you, listen, you're not doing something good. This me dying you, you have to fix. The, the fact that you're doing this is no good. He wants to reveal it to you so you can fix it. The one who flatters it to you wants to cover it from you, that you should continue in him this bad quality in you, that you should never going to work on yourself. So therefore, he's trying to harm you. It's a very interesting concept that the Chida is bringing. And it says, and especially when a person comes and, he, and, and supposedly uh, praises your conduct and how great you are and how, what a good path you go, Enzo Ayamet. Enzo, it's not the Ayamet. Therefore, it would seem like that the person who praises you and flatters you and so on and so forth, and Bo Yirat Hashem. He doesn't have Yirat Shamaim at all. So if he doesn't have Yirat Shamaim, Mimele in any case, Mitzvah Lesono. So you, you, you're allowed to hate him. Velazhiro. And to warn him, don't praise me anymore like this. Vim Yamshik Bedarko Zu, 
של שבר וחנופה, יתרחק ממנו. And if you, if this person doesn't want to listen to you, and he continues praising you, oh, צדיק, חכם, יפה, and so on and so forth, to yourself a famous, stay away from him. There's something that is rotten there. You know? It will be like a rotten tooth that a person has. Ah, smells like this, you know? So that's not good. And you have to, we all like this. Ah, yeah, I feel good. Rav Chaim Palachi says, when somebody used to praise him like this, he says, in order to prevent this, you know, because it's very easy to fall into this. He used to say, Lecha Hashem, to himself, Lecha Hashem, Agdula, Gvura, Tiferet, Vanetzach, Ruaot, to you is Hashem, not to me. The praises are to you, not to me. And that's a very important lesson to remember that even if you did something good you know, or, you, or you were able to accomplish something great, it's only because HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave you the tools and allowed you to do so. So therefore, ultimately, the praise is not for you, it's for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You have to be thankful. And that's what the Chidai said. We don't like this. We like to be, you know, and, and that, that all comes from the, from, the, from the culture of celebrities, right? That's all where it comes from. And, you know, it, it has effect on Shiduchim. You know, you see, you see a beautiful person, you forgot how ugly you are. That's simple as that. You go into the mirror, you open the mirror, you know, you see, you see a, an old man, you say, who's this guy there over there? And this guy is, it's not me, <laughs> somebody else. Somebody else. And you know why is that? You know why is that? Because you look through the same eyes when you were 12 years old. You looked at the trees and you looked at the seasons changing and you look at women and you look at men and you look at houses and you look at cars. Women were women, men were men, trees were trees and they all look at the same thing. You just don't realize how you were changed throughout the time. So you look at the things. You see a beautiful girl. So wow, you think in your mind that and she could be 25 years old. And you listen, buffoon, you're 60 years old. You could be her grandfather for all you know. My aunt was a grandmother at 39. Okay, she was a grandmother at 39. So technically, if you're 60 years old, you have a 25-year-old. Yeah, you could be, be the grandparent. But what are you thinking? But we don't, we don't see it like that. That's why you need to always look around. Look around, look around you. See you, look at your friends, how they change over time. And realize that you just change just as much, if not more. So therefore, stay away from people who flatter you because they want, to, they, want to, they want you to continue being who you are. The one who rebukes you, gives you tochecha, not the person who puts you down. We have to distinguish between the two. The person who tells you something because he really cares about you, he doesn't want you to stumble, that's the person in which you should, you, should, you should praise, you should look forward to meet, you should appreciate. And stay away from those who would always give you praises or people who are flatterers, chanfanim. Because these are one of the groups, the most dangerous groups in Judaism, which the, the Torah and Chachamim always warned us about. So stay away, keep your distance, and be safe.